Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's time for another review. Yes, it is, brother. And what are we reviewing today? The Peacemaker, season one. Now, that's what I like to talk about right there, oh, bro. Yeah. This show right here just hit at a whole nother level. Very and surprising. Know, hell yeah. And I know some of you guys out there are like, yo, why y'all didn't do a reaction? Well, let me explain, guys. The Peacemaker came on at a certain time that our schedule did not mix well. So we couldn't do a reaction to it. And I didn't want to do reactions like late. True. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was like, true. you know what? Let's just enjoy the show, sit on the couch with the family, and watch The Peacemaker. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and do a review for you guys. And those out there that are new to the channel that don't know how we review movies and shows, let me tell you how we do that. We like to talk about the good, the bad. And we give our favorite scenes, and then we break down our great. And we also spoil the show. Yes. So if you have not seen the show and you don't want any spoilers, please push that subscribe button. Push that watch later. Thumbs this video up. Put in the comments and say, I'll be back. I appreciate that. I'll be like, oh, somebody didn't want. Okay, for sure. No pun intended. <laughs> Come back and watch the review after the fact. Yeah, there you go. So, Ronan, let's get into this review. All right, let's start with the good. So, I will say this is an aftermath Suicide Squad film. And if you like that movie, you're going to love this show. Hell yeah. Same universe. Uh, this is the first time we've seen, like, an actual hit movie tie-in going into a TV show universe. So this is kind of like an experiment in a sense. Yeah. Because James Gunn's coming from Marvel to DC. And like It was very uh, great transition because we have this signature in and out in the movie and in this show. And he's able to keep that edginess and uh, that raw action, but bring in unfamiliar characters to a mainstream audience that nobody was checking for. Mm -hmm. So Suicide Squad, and then now The Peacemaker. Now we're following him and then a brand new team. So I love that we're in this pre-Suicide Squad universe, and uh, it's just a lot of fun, and there were so many twists and turns. And uh, it's really a great mystery show, too, Bruh. with dark comedy on top, on top of it. Leave something for me. <laughs> Man, well said, bro. I 100% agree with you. When I heard James Gunn was doing this show, I was already ready for this. I knew I was going to get this type of adventure that I want. And this show right here proves that the studios hold back creators like James Gunn all the time. But when you let them put that foot on that throttle, they'll give you something that you ain't know you needed in yeah. your life. And Peacemaker's one of those shows. Now, my good in this show is watching an actor like John Cena. Now, y'all know John Cena's been acting for years, WWE. And that's a certain type of acting. Yeah. But to get the emotion from John Cena, bravo. Oh, yeah. I felt this man's pain. I was impressed. Yeah, the Marine himself. I was like, oh my gosh, John Cena is like, yo, teaming up with uh, 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 Robert Patrick. Yeah, yeah. You talking about the Terminator? <laughs> That's a crazy father and son duo. It, it was tight, though. I'm going to have to kill my son. God <laughs> damn. The, the, the twist of trying to become a hero and doing whatever you can to be that hero but still following the negative ways of your father yeah, and seeing the same thing go on uh, uh, with the team and Amanda Waller right, and trying to stay alive. Well written, well acted. He ain't lying. Just the, the fantasy of the whole show was dope. Um, going on those adventures, judo master, yeah, eating Cheetos, <laughs> bro, <laughs> and whoop your ass at the same Super time. Super OP crazy i just loved every bit of it the whole aspect of the butterflies yeah and how when you watch when you watch all the way to the end you realize they really weren't even bad right to a degree i mean they had some effed up methods to you know control the world right but they really were there to help mankind right i love villains like that and what do we always do we fear what we don't understand so we yeah. go to war yeah. I mean, they do take your whole body, and once they in you, you're dead. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah, That's pretty yeah. much what it was. It really was. Which was tight. Dang, That's man. That's when the sci-fi fantasy came in. Yeah. It, it was cool. I, yeah. I love every bit of it. it. It felt like 30 episodes, but we only had eight. Yeah. I like it. It, it moves. Uh, I'll say the pacing was very smooth, and uh, we learned a lot about the team. And then you learned about, uh, like you said, I agree with uh, Peacemaker's methods and things like that. Because, again, we thought he was just a jokester. But I think that was just to keep himself sane because of all that darkness he was around. A lot of Because dark, of the bro. family history. He killed his brother, it's man. It's like, dang, okay, so now we know why he's such a joking character because he has to find the humorous things in life because he's been raised and born in darkness, basically. I feel, I, 
that that pain. Man, he killed his brother. Yeah. His only friend. I was wild. And he didn't even do it on purpose. Right. Crazy. And then got like casted out and hated for it, but they were told to fight. Like so it's like, well, what am I supposed to, you know? Yeah. Y'all made us do this. So it was weird. <laughs> Dope aspect. Oh yeah. Um, let's get into the bad, bro. I will say I would have liked to have seen more setup of uh, other Suicide uh, Squad members because I feel like this is in the same universe. And I felt like they should have used this Peacemaker experiment as a way to tease other characters that could eventually join the team. Because we know the team always changes. Yeah, yeah. And then the sentences get reduced. So I felt like this was an experiment to do that. And I felt like they kind of left that on the back burner. I understand it's a Peacemaker show. But it, Peacemaker happened because of the Suicide Squad mm-hmm. movie. So... You can't forget them. And I felt like they kind of did. A negative for me was more of a bad. A show like this that is just completely just on a whole nother level is not for everyone. And I feel like to a degree that can be a negative because it just does so much. Yeah. But you, it's not for everybody. Everybody can't enjoy this show. And I, that's the only negative I have because I really enjoyed the show. Everything it stood for. It gave me my superhero, gave me my drama, my dark humor, sex. Can't ask for more. It did it all. It yeah. It gave me everything. I, I mean, damn. The humor was there. The, the sci-fi was there. The comedy, the drama. The soundtrack, the music the, the, hit. The music <laughs> hit. The music hit, yeah. The reminiscing with the music, the montage. The action, yeah. the ass whoopings, Yo, the, the, the gunplay. Yeah. It had all these elements. And the only thing I could think of, it ain't for everybody. <laughs> yeah, they do drop a lot on you. It's, it's definitely overwhelming to somebody eight that's kind of new to this genre. Yeah, I agree. Eight episodes. I, I wouldn't like introduce this to somebody unless they've seen uh, those other familiar movies that are in that same vein. Because it's a lot to take in. I can see somebody, why are these shooting somebody in the head? You know, you get that yeah. one old lady. Yeah. Why are they naked? <laughs> it's a, it's, Shut up, Grandma. It's, it's a hardcore tone. <laughs> but, you know, once you, like, understand the tone and the pacing, you know, you, you can get with it. Yeah. But you got to ease people in. Because this is the Suicide Squad again. They treat them as if they're superheroes, and that's the twist. They want to do good so that they can, you know, be set free. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. And everybody has their different morals and moralities, and that's what's tight. Because you get to see that side. In most comic book movies, you always see the hero. You never get to see the other side. It's always two sides. Yeah. And I like that they're exploring that now with these new movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's get into some scenes. Uh, I will say I like the finale showdown. That was pretty crazy. I, ne- I ain't never seen nothing like that. It made me imagine like if Avengers was rated R and we really had to take Ooh. some people down. Because it was like they came together. They had the montage music from the introduction and then they just went to straight war. And then it was like, was it really an invasion? Like, did we really just surrender humanity? Like, so it was Bro, like a flip in the script. When a butterfly tried to go in her mouth, dog, yeah. she couldn't stop it. Oh, that was crazy. She's about to lose that brain. Mm-hmm. Dang. Yeah, I, I thought that was one of the dopest finales I've ever seen, especially in this genre. Like, that was it was like some Mortal Kombat stuff, like the way they went down. You had the gunplay. You had the hand to hand. You had power to a degree. Bro, the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, boo. Shout out to up everything, man. <laughs> um, one of my scenes, man. You know me. I'm a sucker for emotion. If you can get me, then you know you did good. And it's the character uh, with the beard, the uh, John. Yeah. Bro, that was so sad and it was an eye opener just in general someone like myself who's a jokester and plays and and laughs and stuff like that it makes you sit back and see what you could do to somebody just by having fun yeah and it ain't fun for them right when john had to explain why he had that beard to that alien just to live because if he exploited he would have died yeah and they can hear on a walkie on how he was like i never have been with a girl I did it so I could feel younger and look cooler. And it's like, John Cena just looked like a straight dick. Like, damn. Mm-hmm. He acknowledged <laughs> I was sad for him, bro. I was like, golly. Because oh, yeah. he had to tell it. But he saved his life. He had to tell the truth. If he didn't tell the truth, he was going to die. Yeah. He had to tell the truth. And he was like, wow. The circumstances, man. He lives in his box hole. He just works to live. 
Amanda Waller's grimy. It made her look even worse. Bro. And then <laughs> the whole the whole best friend of sidekick of uh, Vigilante, how he is this pop culture idealist. Like he always has these like conversations when he's in combat. He's kinda like Jim from the office and then Big Daddy from Kick Ass. Like he has these crazy yep. personalities. But then like when that. they start you know, going back with the Whitney Banner, it's funny when they start arguing over uh, pop culture. And they were talking about all the people that could have been arrested and he didn't name the one that he wanted to hear. <laughs> That was funny. I, I like this stuff. The crazy thing, he kept going. He ad lit a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Um, Another scene for me, I I just, overall, I just love the whole butterfly aspect. I thought that was so men in blackish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I really enjoyed every bit of it, man. It, this show did a lot. So much fun watching it. And Judo Master... I just want to know his backstory. He he need an episode. He's got to have I got to know something. why he, he just eats Cheetos. He says very little words. He'll beat the hell out of you, though. Oh, yeah. But. And he don't give up. He, he wants to win. Bro, he got shot in the chest. And came back. <laughs> He's, it's not I enough. thought he was a butterfly at first. Yeah, he acted like one. Yeah. Man. I. Yeah, this show is this show hitting, man. It's going to get this show a grade, man. All right. Um, Peacemaker, HBO Max original series. Never seen anything like this ever done in American content, I'll say. <laughs> and it's That's a, a bold statement, yeah, and but it's true. a step forward because yeah. I've seen some international films now. I've yeah. seen some stuff, but I've never seen nothing done quite like this. It's, it's really like what happens when you take an actual a great idea of CW and you put it on HBO. Yeah. Because it had the results. It had a CW moment, and you know. I love the 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 uh, the little Easter eggs we got. I loved a lot of that. You know, acknowledging the Justice League. Oh yeah, that I love when the Justice League showed up. That was dope. That was. You know what I mean? Granted, we only got two. I think they should have just dropped two. Yeah, I would have just dropped those two. I wouldn't have brought Superman. I was a little salty though, like Superman Shadow, really. I, Henry Cavill probably socked the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, all right, Aquaman and Flash. Okay, wait a minute, wait. Yeah, I start. I start. Wet. Yeah, I start asking. Really, y'all gonna do man still like that? And one woman didn't say no words. Nothing. Well, we understand. Oh shoot. But anyway, that was really cool. Just seeing that and just knowing the potential of the DC. FU universe and just knowing that what Zack Snyder has created is still continuing on and if directors can really stick to that script granted I know we're going to get a lot of different things coming about oh yeah but I really enjoy what we saw and for that I'm going to give Peacemaker oh man five stars bro okay <laughs> I, I, I like it man I, I watched it twice already so Dope. I'm already there uh, I'm a James Gunn fan uh, I like what he brings to the table, and I like that he brings, you know, weird, obscure teams that no one's checking for, seamless, dealers characters, and makes them A. Uh, this is a five-star for me, man. I, I enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, cast, writing, directing, all that good stuff. Bring on season two, man. And I need more. With that being said, guys, season two, I'm going to try to make sure we take off. Okay. So we can go ahead and react with y'all, because I ain't going to lie, man. I was busting up laughing on the couch. Like, it was just funny, man. Me and my lady just sitting there watching it, and we just laughing, having fun with it. Dope. Love every bit of this show, man. Shout out to that theme song, bro. <laughs> fire. That intro is eagle. fire. Eagle. Ah! <laughs> Freaking eagle, bro. Man, we be at work doing that. Uh, uh, uh. Bro, the oh. eagle was so smart. Oh, yeah. Love every bit of it. Using the brain. Yep. Random characters. Tight. Crazy. If you guys enjoyed the review, go ahead and push that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yes. I would love to know what you guys thought about Peacemaker and put your grade down below in the comment section. I'm J3. Want to show guys. Woo! Ninja Assassin. 100,000 subscribers. We got y'all.